Ah! Ah! Bitch! depends on me waking up early in the morning because for the past like a while I haven't actually gone up early we went into another lockdown in May was it May it was May we went to another lockdown in May and I haven't actually gone up early for the gym since then and today I woke up at 5 30 it's a Saturday I woke up at 5 30 on a Saturday I usually wake up at 6 on a Saturday so it was a big deal you were actually had already left the house by 5 30 yes yeah that's right so, I woke up really early today and I'm in a really good mood now. Maybe I'll have breakfast this morning. That's how much of my mood depends on the morning. Like, I actually decided to eat. Then you ask Emma, like, I'll go all day without eating. And that's really bad. Right? It is. And it's true. And it's also really bad that you're not looking at the road right now. I don't know if you're playing, like, dodge the little... Dodge the people, yeah. Not the people. Those little things in the middle of the road. Yeah, we have these weird little kind of things in the middle of the road. I don't know what they're supposed to be. I think they're like obstacles. And you just kind of, you just really try not to hit them. But you don't really lose any points if you do, so. Anyways, yes, it's bad that you don't eat all morning. <laughs> I never buy clothes. Like it's always like sponsorship clothes. So Although we're gonna. You did, you did get a nice. Like you got a nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I get a lot. Of nice yeah, like I get a lot of nice stuff. I don't. I just don't. I just don't buy clothes. So we're we're walking to Winters right now to check some stuff out. So going shopping in the alley is painful. It is. It is very painful because I get bored very very quickly. Update. We went to Winters to buy clothes for me, and we left with two brand new containers of pre-workout and some gym shoes and a dress and a bathing suit for Emma. That's as far as we got. I'm not really good at buying clothes. Stop, he, he keeps things that he likes and then he just doesn't buy them. I just, I think it's just, I don't like spending money. You really don't. No, you I spend it on everyone else. Yeah, I think it's because I grew up poor and I just like try to like keep all my money to myself and pay for stuff. But I, that's the thing, I also buy stuff for other people. You just, you have a guilt complex now. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Hi, Hello. we saw you riding around your mower. It looks pretty freaking cool. I can't keep good things. I don't do this anymore. Social media. What? No, shh. That's my job. <laughs> we have bills to pay. <laughs> guys, look at this. <laughs> I'll let you guys keep asking for longer videos. And the only way I'm going to get you guys longer videos is if I just show you guys what I do in my daily life. So that's what we're going to do. This is a llama. And you got to put that around my neck so I don't drain. Guys, this is a swing set here. And that's pretty fucking dope. Not going to lie. We like to say in Canada, is Lady Titty. And that swing set is definitely. Lady Titty. If you guys want to be Canadian, just start saying Lady Titty to everything. When your mom walks in, it says, Hey Brad, I made breakfast. You can be like, Thanks mom, that's Lady Titty. Hello?
I just need to decide to get my camera this time. Are you kidding? Probably just gonna go down. Yeah. Yeah. The f I just tripped over the the baby gate. I'm just gonna go check something in the office, okay? Yeah. 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 I I was that? Oh, is it Luna? Oh, it's Luna. I think it's Luna. Yeah, it's Luna. I hope that's her oh, tail, bro. Let's get the shit out of here, man. Yo, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't set up the baby. Babe. Mm. Okay, I'm not, I'm not saying this to scare you, and I know you don't like to know this shit. But when I tripped over the baby gate, like I didn't set that up. What? The baby, like I didn't set the baby gate up. I was I was just out there like not even two minutes before that. You know what? I'm going to leave this open. I'm just gonna leave that open. That's a fucking hack. Knock on that shit, bitch. It just rang the, it just knocked on the front door. Oh, it just. Oh, it just Milo, no. No, buddy, no. Come on. I know, baby. I know you want to help daddy. Come on. No, it's not safe. I gotta. No. Come on. Come on, baby. It's not safe. Stay with mommy. Stay with mommy. Just gonna wait here. I am just gonna wait here until he knocks again. So my plan right now is I'm just gonna fucking sit here. Cause if he's not gonna knock upstairs, I'm just gonna knock over here. Then I'm just gonna sit here and wait till he knocks over here. I think that's my plan. So it's gonna be good. I'm excited for it. It should work out well. No, never does, hey. Never does. You guys probably see like six chains right now, so I'm gonna keep my face up here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I thought that kind of went out for a bit, but oh, the light's fucking up. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck. Yo, I'm just gonna wait here for the next little bit. No good. I'm so dark in here. Holy shit. I'm like 
90% sure I didn't turn that on. I didn't turn that on. Hello? Fuck that. This thing's dying out on me. Um. I don't know, man. Shit's f It's not good, man. Shit's kind of freaking me out these days. This isn't, uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I gotta, I think tomorrow I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna look into doing some research on the place. Uh, maybe find out, like, who the previous owners were or some history of the neighborhood. We've gone too long with not knowing what's going on here, and I think it's really time for us to, to do our due diligence and step it up. Figure out what's going on here. I'm gonna bet, though. That's my next move. <laughs> I love you guys. Good night. So I told you guys I'm going to do some research on the place that no he's tangled himself up he's pulling himself by the back of the leg here we're gonna sit down for a bit okay we're gonna talk to everybody we got some stuff to tell them i, I, I again i can't see you guys right now because my my viewfinder is broken so i told you guys i was gonna do some digging do some research find out some stuff about the area uh or about the house anyway i ended up finding a lot of stuff about the area itself uh, nothing house specific um I'll, i'm also gonna be omitting any addresses uh in the general area that i live in and you, you guys know the job uh because obviously you guys know i've had a lot of people show up in my house and it's very fucking scary so for those of you that might figure out where i live somehow don't show up my house that's that's not cool okay now under any some under no circumstance is it okay for anyone to to show up in my house i appreciate like those that want to come to do good and to drop off gifts I 100% I appreciate that I love you for that and that's so sweet of you uh, but guys you, you can't show up at people's houses <laughs> it's scary right did some digging in the area of Ottawa that I live in it's a very old area it's one of the definitely not the first but one of the like original not the first settlement in Ottawa but it's definitely one of the original settlements in Ottawa it's been here since almost Ottawa's discovery um, and to let you guys know, there's a lot of forest around. As you can see, I'm, I'm completely surrounded by forest. I'm also surrounded by lake. Um, both of which play play huge parts in what I'm about to tell you, which is kind of kind of spooky, kind of creepy. There's been cult activity in these forests. Uh, that's one thing. There's, there's been a lot of tragedies in this part of Ottawa. Okay, there's a a lake nearby with a waterfall. Uh, lots of death. Okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna dive into what happened, but lots and lots of death in that lake, which is right by my house. Um, lots and lots of spooky, creepy, culty shit happening in these forests, which is also right by my house, which is also the same forest as the Witch's Forest, which you guys already know is kind of already creepy in itself. Um, just in the general area, like within, I'd say, my neighborhood, for all I know could happen in the, the development that was there before my neighborhood, but three off the top of my head that I saw when I was looking at these tragedies was, there was a fire that killed a mother and her two daughters. A fire killed a mother and her two daughters, which is which is terrifying in itself. Um, there was a double murder, no, sorry, it was a murder-suicide, not a double murder-suicide. Uh, there was a murder-suicide, a guy hung his wife, he hung his wife, and then he hung himself. That's just terrifying. Um, there's There's been murders, that in and of it, just the basic murders. Um, just a lot of creepy dark shit happened in these parts of Ottawa. And it's so creepy to think that there are people out there that are, are that malicious to, to do murders. You know what I mean? Like uh, murdering your wife by hanging her. I don't even know how you do that. How do you hang someone against their own like will and then hang yourself uh, obviously probably wasn't able to deal with the trauma that he, he inflicted on somebody else and had to kill himself which is that's just blows my mind but like I think the forest that I'm like literally sitting outside of right now cult activity that's crazy um, 
So anyways, it's it's very creepy. And obviously there there's this is just the line that you guys can see. There's there's a lot of a lot of trees. Hey Max? So are we in a creepy area? Hey, if you need a ghost story to happen, this is the part of Ottawa that you wanna be in apparently. Um but man, just knowing that there's so much there's a lot of history in Ottawa. Okay, Canada is not an old country. Uh we are I think we're like 150 so years old. Ottawa is the capital of Canada. So I think Ottawa is one of the first places that they arrived in. I don't really know for sure. I've got to brush up on my Canadian history, but. That's your little history lesson of Ottawa. Uh, that stuff last night was very scary. Um, don't dig it. Anyways, um, I'm, I'm trailing. I just want to say I love you guys. I love every single one of you. I hope you guys have an absolutely blessed day. Don't forget, guys, tough times don't last. Tough people do. And I know you guys are the toughest motherfuckers around. Okay? I'm not bleeping that out. Full motherfucker force. You guys are strong. You guys are passionate. You guys are motivated. And I want you guys to tell yourself that. Okay? I, I know some of you are going to be watching this right now and be like, oh, he's not talking to me. If you thought that at any point while I was saying that, I'm fucking talking directly to you. You, who, you, yes, you. The one that think that they, they can't do what they wanna do or that, that somebody else is supposed to make their life happen. No, you are, okay fam? I love you guys and I want you to know your, your reality is in, in your own hands, okay? You have what it takes to take that first step in the right direction, okay? I'm not, I'm not asking you to change your life. I'm not asking you to jump and into the unknown. I just want you guys to take that first step that you need to take, okay? Take the first step, see where it takes you, okay? You never know, okay? That first step could just be going outside once a day. That first step could be meditating. That first step could be doing your laundry. That first step could be brushing your teeth. Whatever that first step is, just take that tiny step. That's all I'm asking, okay? I'm not asking you to flip your life and, and make changes. You might think it's, it's too late for you, but it's not, okay? Some of you might be, 40, 50, 60, 70. Even in, in your 70s, it's not too late. Your 80s, it's not too late, okay? It's never too late to do what you wanna do. It's never too late to take control of your own life. I know it's easy for me to say because I'm only 20, I'm not saying my age, but I'm only 22. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'll say I'm 22. <laughs> I'm not. But you know, it, it's easy for some random dude in a park by himself right now to tell you guys that you have what it takes to take control of your own life, but it's, you really do, man. Like I, I guys, I had, I, I'll be honest with you guys, I had a really fucked up childhood, okay? Like I'm, it was not good, okay? I mean, my, my, my mom did the best that she could and she made my childhood incredible, but like you take away um, a mother's love and it was pretty fucked up, you know? Like it was me, my mom, my brother, no dead around. Um, Dustin, we, we lived in the ghetto, we lived in the hood. And you know what? We made the best of it, and one step at a time, we, that's what the, the way we took it, and I don't know, don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know. I just want you guys to know that it gets better, and you guys are able to do whatever it is. Oh my God, there's a bumblebee. Where'd it go? Oh, it's gone. Wow, I really do have the attention span of a squirrel. Man, I don't even know where I'm going with this. But I know I don't want to end the recording, so I feel like there is something that I need to say to somebody out there. I don't know who it is, and I don't know what I have to say. But I don't want to drop my camera and end the recording, so I will say the first thing that comes to my mind, and this message has to be for somebody out there. So it might be you if you're watching, but don't give up. You have what it takes. You are capable, you are strong, and you are powerful, okay? Don't forget that, and you have what it takes to change your life. I love you, stay blessed. Emma, what is your diagnosis? Oh, he's a freaking idiot. What the fork did you just say? This is a family-friendly channel. You get that mean, wow. Okay. Uh